beautiful air. It's um, pretty cool that the last test in New Zealand this year is at home. Obviously, um, I'm going overseas at the end of the year, so the opportunity to represent the country's not there um, again after this year, so have the last one to be playing and the last one at home. Be cool. What are your memories from your, your debut? Um, I think you might have got pinged not from the ball and straight in your first involvement, <laughs> but then set up a match winning try right at the end. Um, yeah, I think I must have kicked the touch as well at some point in that game. Um, but my first game, I think it was your first game as well, right? Did against England? Was that Dundas? No, in Auckland. Oh, no, I don't know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 it might have been um, Malakai for Guitar yeah. as well. I think we debuted on the same day. So um, fond memories of that, seeing my family right after the game. And to be able to have met on my last game in New Zealand would be pretty cool as well. Any regrets about leaving New Zealand? Um, no, not, not at this stage. Um, I think when you look back on your career later on, um, you might might have some, you might not, but I, I'm content with my decision. Um, we're looking forward to obviously playing this game and um, whatever the rest of the year holds, um, but then getting over to Japan and um, spending more time with my family, uh, playing a new competition over there as well, something I'm looking forward to. TJ, you had a long um, association with Bowden, uh, mm. both with the Canes and the All Blacks. Is it feel a wee bit like um, Back to the Future this week? You guys um, starting in the house? Yeah, it'd be cool, man. It'd be cool. I, when they named the team the other day, I um, saw Bear's name at 10. Uh, we played a lot of games as 9 and 10 uh, for the Hurricanes and a lot in the stadium together, so to be able to go out there um, with my bro at uh, 10 is something I'm excited for. and. Um, something I cherish. How much does it mean to be home here in It means a lot, bro. Like home is always going to be home. Um, every opportunity we get to put on a black jersey, we're grateful for. But to be able to do it at home in front of your friends and family um, and the fans that I played for um, for my whole career is uh, pretty special. TG, you care a lot about this team. What did <coughs> seeing what Cortez did last week? Does it give you a look, some nice reassurance that you know the torch is in good hands at halfback? Yeah, Tez played really well last week. I think um, Tez has played well all year. Um, we've got some very good young nines coming through uh, New Zealand rugby. Um, Cam Roygaard is um, close to being back playing as well, and we all know what he's been, uh, what he's done in this jersey and in the Hurricanes jersey in the past. So to be able to get him back to um, full fitness and hopefully playing at the same level, uh, if not better, is something that um, we all want. And then you've got Noah there as well, who's been playing well, and then. Some guys who are unlucky to uh, not be in this team as well, um, with Finlay and um, Falau, um, both of those guys. So it just shows the quality of nines that we have in, in our country at the moment. TJ, can you speak on what role Barra has played in getting him to this point? Um, a massive role, bro. Like, Fano is, I think for, for maybe all of us, it, I can't speak for everyone, but it's the most important thing in our lives. And regardless of if you play rugby, if you're... Um, you know, whatever you're doing in life, um, we look back to our Fano to to help us through good times and to celebrate. Oh, to help us through bad times and to celebrate good times. So my family has been um, a massive, I guess, rock um, for me and a consistent for me throughout my career. Looking back to the 22-year-old self when you made your debut, what would you say to him now? Um, just enjoy the ride. Like it's there's a lot of ups and downs that come with with what we do. Um, you guys are part of that which is your job, you, um, but the way we play is part of that too. And I would just say to enjoy it for, for what it is because, man, it goes quickly. Do you mean the media were part of the ups or the downs? Um, both, <laughs> both, I think. You know. um, but, and there's, there's no bad blood in that at all. Like you, you have a job to do, your job is to, to help promote and sell our game and understand that a narrative, if it's a negative narrative, can create um, some form of... Um, conflict or conversation about the game and good and bad conversation on the game actually grows the game so I, I get it, I don't always agree with it but I get it. Just, yeah. just to dig into one of those negative narratives, yeah. what's going on with the Wellington hoodoo? <laughs> um, we need to sort that out that, that's our job is to, to play better here, um, we haven't been successful, for, successful here uh, in the last wee while um, so for us we understand that um, a field or a, a region doesn't determine whether you win or lose. It's, it's our circle and um, we have to own our performance this weekend and we're looking forward to doing that. Patrick, 
Welcome. <laughs> hey guys. Um, how good is it to be back and how frustrating was it to go down when you know you were playing some pretty good footy? Yeah, uh, awesome to be back. Um, very frustrating sort of getting the injury and then just with the rehab and time frame it took to sort of get right. Um, I don't really have, I've never really had calf issues before and I don't really have calves, so to have a calf issue is probably frustrating, the most frustrating. But um, no, nah, uh, probably more so just watching watching the team uh, go to South Africa and then obviously the RG games as well. Uh, it's hard being on the sideline or being at home uh, where you feel you can have uh, a bit of input or we've, where I felt that I could have um, sort of given something to the team. But that's all part of it and, and um, yeah, happy to be back and ready to go. These finishing woes, are, you know, no points in the final quarter of the last five tests, you know, it's been a consistent issue. What, you're, you're part of that bench group this week, you know, what's needed, what can you do, what can that group do to kind of turn this narrative, I guess, around? Yeah, I suppose the last quarter of games we haven't gone that well, but uh, part of that is probably just being able to focus in the last 20. Uh, you got guys who are probably playing some real good rugby and going full tip like, for 60 minutes, uh, getting into that last 20 bit of fatigue. But saying that, rugby's an 80 minute game and uh, you've got to be able to perform there, and that's probably where our area of weakness is at the moment. But uh, we acknowledge it and, and we know that as a bench grew, crew, uh, we've got a job to do when we come on. So we're not just watching the game uh, as it's going, we're actually deep into it and, and seeing where we can have good input or um, see where we can add, add value. TJ, do you want to go on that interview tour? Sure. Just you said your last game will be in New Zealand. Just want to clarify what you meant. Then. No, I see the last game in New Zealand, um, which it is. Well, for, for this team, I uh, don't know if I'll be able to get the game for the Lions or not. I'd love to go on the India tour. Um, playing for the All Blacks is the pinnacle um, of our sport, so every opportunity I get to represent this team is something that I'd love to take. And what's it been like coming back post the Achilles injury? You know, the goal is to get back into the All Blacks. What's it been like getting in? It's been awesome. Um, I spoke about hindsight before, and I don't think I, I, I'm probably going to refer to it again here, where I'll reflect back on it after um, the season and be able to, um, I guess, feel it a little bit more. Right now, I've just got a job to do. My job is to go out there. Uh, and win a rugby game and impact winning in this environment. TJ, I know, it's, I know it's a big day for you. It's also a really big <coughs> day for Sam Keane. On Saturday, day, he was yeah. 100th cap. Yeah. Can you just give us your, your thoughts? You've played with him <coughs> as a captain. You've played with him not as a captain. Just give us your thoughts on what Sam has meant to you. Uh, Sam's a great man. I played uh, schools with him, 20s, and played against him a lot through Super Rugby and, that, and then with him in this team a lot too. Um, his influence on this team won't be forgotten. He's been an amazing captain for this team, an amazing player. He's someone that you can rely on and you know um, that he's going to show up for you um, week in, week out. Sam has been, um, yeah, he's been someone that we can always rely on in this environment and um, that, that says a lot about him as a man and as a player that we can, we can always count on him. Though. Paddy, can I ask about um, Tupo Bay and, and his performances? Yeah, uh, outstanding, I think. Um, so he's coming to his own this year and uh, he's certainly uh, helping leading the forward pack uh, with his work in terms of the line out and uh, just around the park. Um, yeah, just being really impressed with how he's gone about his work. I know sort of got to play with him in his first year uh, when he made his debut and um, sort of seen his rise uh, till now. So yeah, uh, definitely a bright future ahead of him. And, yeah, I feel quite proud. Mm. Can I ask you both the <coughs> same question I asked Razor? That is, you know, you guys have lost the rugby championship. It's a title you had the last four years. Obviously, the, the main game is the World Cup. It's a long way away. Does it matter that you've lost this title? Does it hurt, or are you just focused on a you know, long game? Where, where does that fit? Yes, it matters, and yes, it hurts. Like we have an expectation to win every game, and it's. That's our expectation in this environment. Um, every game we go out there and we want to win. We train hard enough to win and we believe that we are good enough to win. And to lose um, the rugby championship and to lose any game for us isn't, isn't good enough.
TJ, going back to the Northern Tour, what would it mean to you to play again at Twickenham after the journey you've had with Achilles tendon? Obviously, you've been to finish this at the closest circle. Really. Yeah, I haven't really thought too much about that. Um, to be fair, it'd be that'd be pretty special. Um, the place that I got injured that kept me out um, for such a long time to be able to um, play another Test match there and, like you say, go full circle. Um, that'd be a pretty special moment. Cool. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.